What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a differential oil change on this 2015 Lexus IS250 Sport. Now today we're going to be using Valvoline Full Synthetic 70 weight 90 and this has a limited slip additive in it to ensure that the rear differential stays good. Now the F Sport has a limited slip differential and this is something that you need to consider if you have the F Sport or the normal 250. Normal 250 doesn't have a limited slip and the F Sport does. All right, so taking a peek under the car, here's the drain bolt on the very bottom. That is the fill point. And once fluid starts coming out of that point, then we will know that this thing is full. And I'll put the specs on the screen just in case you guys want to know. So to start off, We'll just need to pop this off. We'll pop the top one off first, first to let it breathe so that it all comes out nice. And then we will be using, let's see, a number 10 um, Allen head socket. You can get this from your local auto parts store. I got this from AutoZone. Just got a pack of them. We always use these. Really nice to have. So simple tool, nothing, nothing special. We definitely don't have to overpay for this service. All right, it can start to get a little messy right now. And you want to make sure you drive around first and let the differential get up to operating temp. I'm going to switch hands here. Oh, wow. All right, we're going to let this drain for a little more, get all the drizzles off. But you can definitely tell from the smell and the discoloration of the fluid that it is pretty much time to be changed. Let's go take a look at the drain plug and I'll show you what I found on it. So here's the drain plug. I cleaned it off on this towel right here as you can see. Now we can see that there is some chunks, not of metal, but this almost looks like fiber and breakdown of the actual differential. Now this is normal. Um, Obviously, you don't want this to be in there all the time. This will wear out the uh, differential a lot faster. But you can just see that that mag magnetic um, drain plug does do a lot and, and keep it up out of the way of the differential. Alright, now we can kind of wipe this residue off. Make sure we have a clean surface to put our drain bolt back on. Okay, we set our uh, torque wrench to 30 foot pounds. So typically when filling a transmission, we want to look for a slight drizzle coming out the fill point. And that's how you know that the differential is perfectly filled. Now sometimes you may need to level your car even more to get the perfect angle. But I think the way we're set up right now is going to be fine. So let's go ahead, take this off, and then we'll cut a little sliver right here and then feed it into the transmission. All right, here's the tricky part. We gotta bounce this and feed it in there. We got it in there. We're slowly feeding it. Just cracked open our second little bottle of it. Now we're definitely not gonna be using this whole bottle. So we're gonna keep a close eye out and see when it starts to start dripping off the differential. See it dripping, and that's exactly what you want. So now we can go ahead and throw our top bolt back in, torque it to spec, and then we'll go take it for a drive. 